Hey Aries, thank you for tuning in. This is a brand new channel that I'm starting. I'm very passionate about, you know, what I do with reading. So I wanted to jump right into this. Aries, I'm doing this from, uh, this is being done in April, the end of April. So this is for the end of April up until the end of May, all throughout May. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, I have all my information in the description. So feel free to message me there. Okay, so let's jump right into everything. All right. So the energy of your entire reading, Aries, was the two of wands in reverse. So right now, it's like you're feeling, um, you're feeling like you have a lack of direction. You're feeling like you're not sure what you want to do. It may have been caused to lack of planning, but you're kind of just trying to figure out what you want to do, but you're not necessarily on the path that you may want to be on so there might be some confusion when it comes to that so i am doing your past present future so the first card i have for your past was the wheel of fortune in reverse and i clarified that and i got the devil in reverse so the wheel of fortune in reverse it could be like a sense of bad luck maybe something that you didn't want to happen happened um but it's the universe pulling things forward um, in a way that it needs to happen. So with the devil in reverse, this is you coming out of a place where you're feeling kind of like trapped. Um, I think this is a good thing, releasing this energy of the devil. So um, yeah, there's something going on here in the past where, again, you are you're, you're coming out of a place or coming out of a situation, maybe with a person or a job, but you're coming out of this, um, and you may have been bummed out about it, but I, I do believe it's for better things. So that is your past. Uh, the next card I got for your past was of Three of Swords in reverse, and then to clarify that, I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, Aries, what's going on? This could be you, or this could be someone else. There was some kind of hurt or betrayal here. It could have been a third-party betrayal. But this is you kind of coming out of it, but still, in a sense, being emotional about it. This is you, like, trying to put a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. So there's something going on here that has hurt you in the past, and it's just making you feel drained. Um, it could make you feel drained financially, emotionally. But whether this is you or the person that you are talking to, uh, there was some sort of hurt or betrayal in the past. The next card for your past is the Page of Swords. I clarified that and got the Eight of Wands. So Aries, this is very clear to me. Uh, I think that there was a tense situation in your uh, past where words were exchanged, harsh words were exchanged, and messages were going quick back and forth. Um, so I, I do believe that this was, uh, you know, reference to that betrayal, but... Yeah, things were set. Things were out in the open. Messages were um, definitely exchanged. So moving on to your present moment, uh, we, I got the judgment card. I did clarify that, and I got the moon in reverse. So Aries, with this, I ask you to consider your, um, how do I want to say this? Consider your contributions to your current situation and how things are playing out. Because right now with these cards, I'm seeing that you may feel unhappy in a sense. You may feel like, you know, um, like your decisions have led you to a place of unhappiness. You might feel unclear. You might feel confused. And you have to ask yourself, is this something that you brought to yourself? If this was you in the past that, you know, you weren't being honest and maybe there was a third party and it was found out about, you know, are you in this position right now because of something you've done or is it karma from something in the past or is it just the person you're dealing with that's making you feel this way? Either way, Aries, this is a situation that, you know, we want to move forward from. But moving on in your present situation, we got some better cards here. So we have the Page of Cups um, and the Three of Cups. The Page of Cups actually was the clarifier for the Three of Cups. So with this, maybe there's someone new coming in. Maybe you're getting, um, you know, an offer of love, messages, something good that you want to hear, something that could be emotionally fulfilling. And you're definitely, you're happy about this. Um, you're celebrating it. So that's great. 
And let's hope that that's something good. Your next card for the present, I got the Strength card and the Four of Pentacles. So whatever you've gone through in the past, you're being strong about it. You realize that you have to do what you have to do. But a little part of you is still holding on. What are we holding on to? So definitely, you know, you're being strong. You're moving forward. But part of you is holding on to something. What is that? All right, and moving forward. So for the future, the first card I picked was the Six of Cups in reverse. And then I clarified that, and I got the Sun in reverse. So, Aries, you're letting go of a situation from the past. Um, there's something that, I mean, you may be finding out that maybe somebody you used to be with moved on, or... You just have to cut something that no longer serves you. I mean, you got everything you needed from it. With the sun in reverse, um, this is not a bad card. This is, you know, you ending a cycle, starting a new one. But all it's saying is that it, you might be getting something different than what you had originally expected, but it's still going to be something, you know, good. So all in all, this is all happening for a reason. Any, um, any heartaches you may be going through or any... BS or drama that you're going through, you know, it's all for something. Now, the next two cards for your future is Justice in, re um, in Reverse, clarified by the Six of Swords. So, you feel an injustice has been done. You're slowly moving away from a situation that you were emotionally tied to from your past. Um, whether, if this is you, you know, um, moving away from something because you were the one who was unjust, you know, at this point, I, I beg you to consider, you know, what can I do to change? Now, if this is a situation where you were the one, you know, being lied to or betrayed, um, you're moving away from this. You're moving to the calmer waters. So you're slowly moving away from the situation, which is great. And then uh, the last two cards, um, I did pull the Eight of Swords, and to clarify it, I got the Three of Wands. So Aries, you're in your head. You know, in the future, you're going to be in your head about things. And you're going to feel a lack of direction. You're going to feel like you might have wasted your time with something. Um, your ships are not coming in. It's, it's not going the way you want, and you're in your head about it. But, you know, again, look at the situation. If this is something that you have caused, learn from it and get out of your head and do better. If this is something that was done to you, understand that everything in life happens for a reason and we need to be strong and we need to take these lessons, these karmic situations, these lessons and, and learn from it. And what I could advise is, you know, in the future, if you're feeling like you have some sort of lack of direction, um, and you feel like maybe the plan you had isn't the plan that's going to work, or you might feel like there's too many obstacles that are in your way. Um, what I suggest is, you know, start back at the drawing boards. Figure out what it is that you want. Figure out what it is that makes you happy. And start from scratch. Take your plan, break it down into steps, and, you know, small steps, and, and get to moving because we don't want to see you here, Aries. You know, I want you doing well. And I want you in a good place. But it just looks like there's a lot of bullshit that you just need to clear out. Whatever is going on from your past, you got to clear it out. There's something here. You know, there's something new that could be coming in. And you see that it's good. You're strong, you know, but you're still holding on. So let's kind of get out of this mindset here and, and focus on what's good. And this is the center of your reading. So Aries, a lot of the stuff I see here, this is just you being in your head about things. So this is something you can tell, uh, you know, totally get out of. But you have to decide that you want that. But like I said, you know, there are good things for you. You just have to decide that you want what's best. And you have to, you know, walk away from things even if it hurts. There's, you know, the hardest part is actually walking away. But once you've walked away, it's just a matter of time, you know, before you heal. So Aries, I hope that this did resonate with you. Um, I am going to leave all my information in the description. If you want a more personalized reading, do um, you know? Do keep in mind this is general, so it might not resonate with everybody. But if you do want something more specific, absolutely get in touch with me. Um, I left all of my information in the description. 
And I did want to wish you guys a happy belated birthday because Aries uh, time just passed. And I hope everything is well with you guys. Um, and like I said, I am new. So if you do like and subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. If this did resonate with you, I did leave my PayPal account for donations. All right, guys, have a good month. Good luck.